Good afternoon and thank you for joining us here at Strategic Healthcare with Matt and of course I'm Dawn. I want to thank you again for joining us. I know I wasn't here last week and you all missed me because I got lots of letters and things. But this week we decided we'd be just a little bit more casual. And this morning, you know, Matt and I coordinated our wardrobe. However, we didn't know we were going to coordinate with the rest of the set. So that was just a little bonus. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy the new spring look that we have because we are tired of the cold weather. Um, and looking forward. We got a new and a lot of exciting things going on at Strategic. Matt's going to, of course, tell you about the new jobs that we have out there, but what I want to tell you first is some of the things that have changed a little bit. And this is real important. We've spent a couple of weeks talking about traveling nurses and opportunities and things like that. But for everybody here that's in the New York area, and for everybody that's really interested in some permanent placement, one of the things that we're really starting to focus on now is permanent placement of our nurses. So if you're a nurse and you're interested in a new career, maybe in another state, or you just want to go to another facility or another floor or something like that, please again, get us your resume and we will be happy to get you in a nice placement um, of a job that's going to pay you what you deserve as a nurse. As being a nurse for over 30 years, because I started as a child myself, you know, I know when we started out, we weren't making that much. And now we're really doing a lot better. So we want to help you get that job of your dreams with benefits. And in fact, what I have is a job with me today that's a permanent job in California, in San Diego. And it's for a nurse that's going to get benefits. It's a very high paying job and it's in the SICU. So we're looking for somebody with a master's degree with two or three years experience and we can get you really placed in less than a week. So again, get those resumes ready, get them out to us. Now we are all still doing the, the travel nursing. Um, that's really our bread and butter. But you know, we, we just want to try to meet the needs of all. We're really changing the focus. Also, Matt, we don't have him with us this week, but we have a new member of our team. His name is Jason, and he'll be joining us probably next week um, or the week after. And he's bringing a new flavor to our organization, and that's going to be the IT section. And we're going to be starting to kind of venture into the world of IT, because as we know, hospitals are huge operating cities mm -hmm. and there's a lot we're going to miss and there's a lot of people out there that are looking for work looking for excitement and really want to you know get a job of their dreams like Matt and I have we're very lucky to be here and be able to talk to all of you and offer you so many opportunities and then finally what we're going to do is we've got to get you on location we are trying so hard but with the time difference it's a little challenging to get our viewers to Hawaii because we've got some really new and exciting things, and I'm working on my tan, and uh, you know, so I want to be there too. And we want to take you to Hawaii. We want to tell you about the jobs we have in Hawaii because they are raining jobs for us now. We actually got an urgent need in Hawaii, don't we? Did you bring that with <coughs> you today, Matt? As a matter of fact, I did. It wasn't the number one. Uh, it better be number one. <coughs> I'll make it number one. How about Aloha. that? Aloha. So, want to get laid in Hawaii? Matt's going to tell you how. <laughs> well, uh, to get employed in Hawaii, I'll start with that. <laughs> HR is not my issue at work. <laughs> well, it actually is the issue at work. But <laughs> <laughs> what we do have uh, today... Having fun. Having word. fun. Yeah. Uh, Queens Medical Center, which we have a very strong relationship with uh, this season, has posted an urgent need for uh, med surge nurse. Uh, very nice paying job. Uh, there are a lot of responses already to this via phone and email, so I urge you to give me a call or uh, email me right away at mprice at strategicnurse.com. Again, a med surge job. This is a 16-week uh, job assignment. And typically what we find is traditionally the 12 or 13 week assignments. This is 16 weeks uh, and it's in Honolulu, I believe. So get me your resume as quickly as you can. Mprice at strategicnurse.com. Again, a med surge nurse need is Boy, you think very you urgent. on a marathon, huh? Matt, what did you eat this morning for breakfast? What was in that bar that you ate this morning? <coughs> uh, full Remember of energy. Remember the turtle wins, right? Isn't that how it goes? The hair is the first one there? Oh, I don't what does that, that say? I'm too old for that stuff, Don. Oh, are you? Yes. The turtle or the hare? I don't remember. 
Oh. <laughs> in any event, uh, in California, we still have needs for a, sur a, a surgery, a nurse for an RN for surgery. Again, in a very nice, attractive bill rate uh, that we can offer you folks. Now, as the months are progressing, we're getting some warmer weather. The hospitals across the country are going to see an increase in census. So different types of jobs are going to become a little bit more prevalent than what we've seen in the early, uh, early part of the year. There's a physical therapy job that has just come across our desk in... Uh, Iowa, that again is a nice paying job. Hey, potatoes. They got potatoes in Iowa, right? That's Idaho. Oh. But there's potatoes what's in What's in state. Iowa? Jeez, oh, come uh, on, what's in Atumwa. Iowa? Remember Radar from MASH? What is it? MASH? Forget it. The show. Oh. Remember Radar O'Reilly? That was before my time, no, sorry. No, it was not. Yes, it was. It was 1969. That's when the movie was I made. Was only anyway. a dream. In Iowa, very nice paying uh, physical therapist job. And as we, again, as the months go on, we're going to see different types of jobs. Uh, again, we just had a new one for a uh, med surge nurse that's epic proficient. And this is going to be in o Tulsa, Oklahoma. Again, it's getting warmer there. Uh, different things are happening in different states where there's more population going there. So the med surge nurse is going to uh, be needed in Oklahoma. Ten and, weeks. And just also on, on one thing I want to talk about, because you mentioned EPIC. So mm -hmm. for people out there that are unfamiliar with the EPIC, although it's he said that you have to be proficient, one of the things you have to remember with any kind of an organization, there's a short orientation period. But that EPIC, once you get trained on it, you'll pretty much be able to, it's a software management kind of a system that they use in the particular hospitals. Once you're trained on that system, you become very proficient in a, in a short period of time. So even though it is a requirement that they're looking for, there's also some online training that we can um, like send you in the right direction so you can get that as well. And when you're EPIC proficient, you become more marketable as a nurse. So you're just more sought after. Um, also, medical. That in a short skirt. Yeah, I don't wear skirts, Dawn. Yes, you do. I saw you last week in that skirt. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and it looked nice. We need a, a med, Windy, a like med tech in Colorado. Again, as the warmer months are coming, uh, the census are going to come up. Uh, so med techs are going to be uh, uh, needed more and more. So this opportunity is in, what town is this in? Montrose, Colorado, very, uh, very popular town. Never heard of it. And you know you can still ski in Colorado in the in summertime. In Denver, you can. Yeah. Now also an inpatient. It's a nice song about that. You want to sing a few bars? No, ma'am. An inpatient coder. You're a maybe tight. Is there something in that chair poking you? Is there a spring or what? No. <laughs> now, can you maybe educate me on an inpatient coder? What that might entail as far as the job is concerned? Because what, what's the job? An inpatient coder. Well, it's probably coding for products, and you know, coding is a big piece to what goes on in the hospital. So if you have um, procedures and policies and how things are paid, you need a medical coder. Okay, so we're that. now seeing some of these He's types of jobs. Me. I'm testing her a little bit. So these types of jobs are now starting to come into fruition, again, as the census levels go up. Um, Again, California is still a hotbed for a lot of our jobs. No pun intended. No pun intended. Uh, and, and, of course, the Hawaii job. So, again, give us a call, 866-531-7648, my direct extension to 725, or you can email me at mprice at strategicnurse.com. I can talk with you about all opportunities that we have all across the country. And, again, we need new nurses. And if you're in sales, you want to become a recruiter and join us, give me a call or email me as well. And you can give me your resume, and we can give you an interview. And another thing we want to tell you, um, if you go to our website, which is um, www.strategic-healthcare.com, there's also a place that you can um, go on there and choose your recruiter and update a profile, which is quite lengthy. It takes you about 20 minutes and you have to have all your information. But if you are um, interested in a position and you really want to get things moving, if you'll just reach out to us, our phone number is on the website as well, and get us your resume, we'll really start the ball rolling for you. Don't be scared by what you have to do on our website. I go on there every day and I find that people have gone on there and only half of the um, profiles are done and I got to be honest with you I look at it and as a nurse they want to know all the licenses that I have all the credentialing that I have I don't keep that in my purse or in my pocket so I'd probably come back to it later if at all so if you can just get us your resumes we'll help you with the jobs again if you know whether you're a nurse or a technician or a doctor or a pharmacist and now even an IT person 
we really want to work with you. We want to find the, the hospital that you want to go to, and we want to find the nurse. Now, I'm going to actually extend it out there. On here, we might even have hospitals that are looking at this, seeing what, you know, what Strategic is doing. If you're a hospital and you're in need of nurses, or if you're a nurse at a hospital that's in need of nurses, please reach out to us as well, because we'd really like to partner with some strong hospitals in the area because we have, you know, like I mentioned earlier, over 100,000 nurses and about 1,000 jobs. So we're always looking for new jobs. Dawn, that's all I have for today. What about you? Well, you know, I could go on and on for days because I'm just finally getting over the cold. So if you think this deep, sexy voice is because I've been working at it, it's not. It's because I've been sick. But I'm feeling better. By next week, hopefully location in Hawaii, if we don't bring on Jason. Um, and one of these days, we may even, you know, one of the things travelers can do is travel with their pets. I'd like to see us bring on maybe one of our pets. He's got a great little dog, and I've got a little Shih Tzu, and we'll show you that we're a pet-friendly organization, and many of the spots that you travel to as a um, nurse are, or as a traveler of whatever capacity, we have pet-friendly facilities. So in closing, thank you again. We are so glad you joined us. Have a great week. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks. Take care.